right, what's up guys? Uh, this is Travis with my brain back and welcome to your ninth Android tutorial. Uh, we're gonna get into audio and adding sounds and uh, you know basically make people start dancing when they they uh, start up the application that you developed. Um, they just forget about everything and just start dancing. Um, that's what the sound is gonna do for people. But uh, bef before we uh, actually get into the programming, I kind of just want to quickly talk on sound and which uh, class you want to use. Um, but let's see how I'm going to say this. There's two classes that you can use to make audio and make sounds. Um, basically, they're called Media Player and Sound Pool. Uh, basically, those are going to do two different things, just the way it loads and uh, processes. Uh, for your application. Sound pool is what you're going to want to use for doing special effects or like sounds like explosions and uh, gunshots, just really short audio clips. You're going to want to use the sound pool. Um, but whereas you want to play background music for your like game or what not, whatnot, you're going to want to use the media player. So just think of sound pool as shorter clips and media player as longer clips. Now, basically for a splash activity, since it's only five seconds long, we would probably want to use the sound pool, but uh, since this series is slowly progressing in how, dif in how difficult it is, I want to use the media player um, just because it's easier to explain, it's real quick, it's real simple, uh, whereas the sound pool, it's, um, it's a little more complicated. Uh, there's a lot more parameters and stuff I'd have to talk about and I don't really feel like talking about right now. Um, especially with people like emailing me and being like, hey, I don't understand what, what's going on. Um, so we'll get to that down the road. But for now, we're just going to set up a media player object. And so we're just going to say media player. And we're going to call this uh, logo music, something like that. And then we're going to hover, hover over the media player and import it so we can use the media player um, class. And what we want to set this equal to is media player basically we're taking from the media player and we're using this method called create and this is going to create basically our, our sound that, and get everything going and it takes two things in its parameters context and an actual reference to the idea of of the sound so for the context what we're going to do is use the context of this activity and since our activity is called main we're going to type in main and you hit dot this referring to the context of the main class and for the reference um, we're gonna reference it kinda like we did with our set content view so we're just gonna hit r dot rar dot um, sound or whatever you labeled your sound as and again I just want to talk to make sure you guys have this rar folder that we created and you put a sound in there Again, OGG is probably the extension you want to use. I'm using this one just because I don't have a good converter um, on my computer yet. So uh, basically, we've created our sound object. And now all we have to do is do something like logo music dot uh, something like hmm, start maybe. Yeah, start right there. And that's basically it. It's going to start our sound and it's going to play it. And it's going to be magical. Um, you're going to think you're like lost in uh, you know, that, that world that Avatar was filmed in. I don't know. You're probably going to think you're like there because that's how simple it is to set up our sound variable and start it. Uh, so basically, I could run this application, but uh, just to do something a little different, I'm going to right click um, outside of our, uh, I mean I think it will add it anyways, right click, go to source, uh, override un implemented methods and just do something like on pause and hit OK. But uh, basically when our, when our program is done or if a tech, we get a text message, it's going to do whatever is in the on pause method. So we're going to say like logo music dot and you're like hey where are all those like options I can choose from well basically what's going on here is we define what logo timer is 
right here within our onCreate method. So it's only going to be able to be recognized within the onCreate method because since that's where we defined it. Now what we can do is uh, make it globally recognized throughout the whole main class. And what we could do is um, basically, or what we're going to do is go above the onCreate and right here we're just going to define it. We're going to say media player logo music and then just finish um, with that semicolon and now we define this as a variable that can be used throughout this whole uh, this whole class so right here when we're referencing it again it's still thinking of it as a local variable within this on create um, so basically this is redundant and to make it uh, the same logo that we're using for a whole class, you just don't define it down here because it already knows that it's a media player object. And now when we go down to our, uh, our on pause method, we can, um, it should recognize it here. Let me just retype it. Logo music dot, and there's the methods that we can use. So we can just say something like either pause or release. Uh, yeah, let's do release. And also, uh, actually, anytime you guys are curious what some of these are, you can just kind of hover over them and read about them. I mean, it's some of it might be confusing, especially if you're new, but you can kind of get an idea what it's going to do. Um, basically, this sound is just going to release it. It's just going to be like, "Hey, I'm done with you," and like kick you down that, um, you know, that hole in 300 or whatnot. Uh, so basically if our sound was like 10 seconds and we didn't want to play over uh, once it goes on to the on pause method it's just gonna stop that sound uh, but now we're pretty much done with the tutorial I uh, talked about everything I want to but I'm just gonna run it and make sure it works here I'll turn up my volume yeah I created that sound I like listen to Bach every night before I go to sleep and uh, I'm just a musical genius like that. So I hope you guys like the tutorial. Um, thanks again for watching, subscribing, giving thumbs up and all that great stuff. Catch you guys next tutorial. Peace. <laughs>